6th grade, Module 4, Lesson 19, Classwork. Opening exercise. My older sister is exactly two years older than I am. Sharing a birthday is both fun and annoying. Every year on her birthday, we have a party, which is fun, but she always brags that she is two years older than I am, which is annoying. Shown below is a table of our ages, starting when I was born. So, when she, or I was zero, sister was two, and she was one, sister was three, and she was two, sister was four, three, five, four, and six. So looking at the table, what patterns do you see? So I noticed that the sister's age is always two more than my age. So let's say sister's age Is always two years older than my age. On the day I turned eight years old, how old was my sister? So if your sister was, if you were eight, how old was the sister? Well, the sister is always two years older, so eight plus two would be ten years old. And how do you know? Uh, let's say sister is two years older, so eight plus two equals ten years old. On the day I turned 16 years old, how old was my sister? So if you're 16, we need to do 16. Oh, well, it asks us for that on the next one, so let's say... 16 plus 2 would be equal to 18 years old. And F, do we need to extend the table to calculate these answers? Um, no, because the patterns just always add 2. So we, whatever, if we know your age or my age, we can just always add 2 to find the sister's age. So let's say no, we just, let's say no, the pattern is add two. Add two to my age to get my sister's age. Example one. So now we have a chart. It's the same thing. So when you're zero, sister's age is two. I think it's kind of confusing that they said my age because not everyone has a sister that's two years older. But um, let's go with it. So my age, zero, my sister's age was two. When my age was one, my sister's age was three. When my age was two, sister's age was four, so on and so forth. What if you don't know how old I am? Let's use a variable for my age. Let y equal my age in years. Can you develop an expression to describe how old my sister is? So if y equals my age, we need to do my age plus 2 would get um, your sister's age. So if your age is y, because the next one said please add that to the last row of the table. So if my age is y, my sister's age is y plus 2. Example two, so same chart again. This time it wants to know how old was my sister when I was six. So when I'm six, remember we have y and y plus two. So when I'm six, or when my sister was six, so this time they're going backwards. Sorry, I had that backwards. So when the sister is six, how old are you? Well, you would be four years old. So this time, if we have the sister's age, we can get to my age by subtracting 2. So instead of adding 2, we just work backwards and subtract 2. How old was I when my sister was 15 years old? Well, 15 minus 2 would be 13 years old. How do we know? Because 15 minus 2 equals 13 years old. 
And D, look at the example in table two. If you know my sister's age, can you determine my age? Um, yes, because we can just subtract two from your sister's age and that will equal your age. Yes, subtract two from sister's age to get my age. If we use the variable g for my sister's age in years, what expression would describe my age? So if sister's age is g, you subtract 2 from your sister's age to get my age. Fill in the last row of the table with the expressions. So if your sister's age is g, you do g minus 2 to get my age. And with a partner, calculate how old I was when I was 22, 23, and 24 years old. So we just need to subtract 2 from all of these ages. So 22 minus 2 equals 20, 23 minus 2 equals 21, and 24 minus 2 equals 22. So we were 20, 21, and 22 years old. Exercises. Noah and Carter are collecting box tops for their school. They each bring in one box top per day, starting on the first day of school. However, Carter had a, Carter had a head start because his aunt sent him 15 box tops before school began. Noah's grandma saved 10 box tops, and Noah added those on the first day. All right, so fill in the missing values that indicate the total number of box tops each boy brought to school. So on day one, we know that Let's go back and review this information. So they each bring one box top per day, starting on the first day of school. But Carter has a head start because his aunt sent him 15. So Carter starts out with 16 because he brings one the first day and his aunt gave him 15. Noah's grandma saved 10 plus the one that he got on the first day. So that's why he has 11. So then it says every day they each bring one box top per day starting on the first day. So every single day they would add one box top to that total. So on the second day of school, they each bring in one more, so their totals go up by one. On the third day of school, they bring in another one, so their totals go up again. On the fourth day of school, another one. And then the fifth day of school, and maybe this continues until the end of the school year. If we let D be the number of days since the new school year began, on D day of school, how many box tops will Noah have brought to school? So we always, so for Noah, started with 10 box tops, right? Or 11 box tops. But the one was because he brought one the first day of school. So we can just take D, or Noah's amount, Noah's days of school. So the number of days of school plus 10 box tops, because he got an additional 10 from his aunt, would give you how many box tops he brought. And then the same thing kind of goes for Carter. So Carter is the number of days plus the 15 that his grandma gave him to start out with. On day 10 of school, how many box tops did no will Noah have brought to school? So day 10 would be 10 plus, uh, it's Noah, so 10 would be equal to 20 box tops on the 10th day of school. And then for Carter on the 10th day of school would be 10, 10 days, plus the 15 that he started with would give him 25 box tops. Number two, each week the primary school recycles 200 pounds of paper. The intermediate school also recycles the same amount, but had another 300 pounds left over from summer school. The intermediate school custodian added this extra 300 pounds to the first recycle week. Number the weeks and record the amount of paper recycled by both schools. Okay, so let's start with week one, two, three, four, and five. So the total amount of paper recycled by the primary school the first week, so the primary school recycles 200 pounds. 
every week. So we'd have 200, and then another 200 would be 400, 600, 800, and 1,000. The intermediate school had 200 pounds of paper, but then they also, the first week, they had another 300 pounds left over from summer school. So the first week, 200 plus 300, they started with 500 pounds, and then they increased by 200 pounds every week. So we just need to increase that by 200 pounds every week. If this trend continues, what will be the total amount collected for each school on week 10? So what I'm seeing is that it is, how can we get from one to 200? So the week, times 200, or 200 times the week is for the, is the um, expression. But then for the intermediate school, it'd be 200 per week plus the extra 200 that it had to start with. So if the trend continues, what will be the total amount for each school on week 10? We just need to do 200, oh, I'm sorry, this was plus 300 because they started out with 300 pounds from summer school. So 200 times 10 would be 2,000 pounds for the intermediate school, or sorry, for primary school. And the intermediate school would be 200 times 10 plus 300, or 2,000 plus 300, which is 2,300. 2,300 pounds for the intermediate school. Shelly and Kristen share a birthday, but Shelly is five years older. So this reminds me of the first example we did. So same birthday, but someone's older. Make a table showing their ages every year beginning when Kristen was born. So let's call this Kristen and Shelly. So when Kristen was zero, when she was born, Shelly would be five. When Kristen's one, Shelly is six, because she's always five years older. Two, she'd be seven. Three, she'd be eight. And four, she would be nine. If Kristen is 16 years old, how old is Shelly? So what I'm noticing is that Kristen's age, Shelly is always Kristen's age plus five. So if Kristen is 16, then 16 plus five would be equal to 21 years old. If Kristen was K years old, how old is Shelly? So that's kind of that's what we did up here. Kelly, or Shelly, would be Kristen plus five. If Shelly is S years old, how old is Kristen? So we can reverse this. If we know Shelly's age, we just need to subtract five to get Kristen's age. And that is all.